Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's Monica from Crafting with Cooling Lady and I hope you have absolutely fabulous day. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this super quick and easy autumn photo frames using Rhenia fold papers. From Haunted Variety Pack, I'm going to use Emerald and Marigold Starstruck. From Magical Variety Pack, I'm going to use Gold and Ruby Starstruck foiled papers. And from Earth Tones, I'm going to use Mocha Starstruck and Copper Starstruck. For the cutting dies, I've got Scattered Leaves from Autumn Morning Collection by Crafters Companion. For nesting dies, I use Scalloped Edge Oval 2 from Crafters Companion. Then I've got a Pokey Tool, Red Liner Tape and a Liquid Glue. For the base, we're going to need 250 GSM card and also some white foam. Then Alphabet. Uh, from your stash and acetate. This one is 200 GSM, so it's heavyweight acetate. And from 12 by 12 inches Rhenia fold papers, I've got gold stash track, marigold copper stash track, and mocha stash track. Now, to create our base, we need a scoreboard. And I'm going to show you exactly how to cut your paper, paper to put all the fronts and the backs together to create that standing photo frame. It is super quick and easy, and trust me, it is worth the effort because then you can put your frames either on a shelf or on a desk. So this one, the front will be 19 by 18 and a half centimeter, and I'm going to score it at one and a half centimeter at the bottom. And then for the back panel, we're going to score it at one centimeter, then at 18, and then at another one and a half and one centimeter. So that will give us 21 and a half by 19 centimeter. And I put it here three times because we are going to create three photo frames. Now, so we've got that back panel and I'm going to score it at one, then 18 centimeters and 19 and a half centimeter. Super quick, easy, and I really, really encourage you to try it because you will be amazed. You can use any papers or any nesting dice you want for this project. And autumn is absolutely such an amazing season, so you can put any photos inside you want. Now with our front panel, we literally just have to score it at one centimeter. Don't forget to burnish all those lines because then later on it will be so much easier to put the whole thing together. And with our bottom of the frame, as you can see, we created that valley, mountain valley fold. And this way everything will stand up nice and proudly. With the front panel, we're going to create mats and layers, and I use 12 by 12 inches Rhenia fold papers, and you can see them here. To adhere them together, I used red liner tape, super quick and easy. And these papers are absolutely amazing because they catch light so beautifully. I really encourage you to try them. If you haven't, I've got 10% of coupon code for you with crafting with QL. And there is also a referral, referral link in the description down below so you can check them out. Also, in the description down below, there, there will be a link to the written tutorial for this project and my other projects I created for Rhenia website. So please check them out. In the top right corner, you can also check my other video where I created an autumn candle holder. Super quick, easy, and yes, I use those beautiful papers from Rhenia. Now, going back to our project. So we've got our front panel ready, and now using that nesting die, I created three frames from gold stash track fold paper. And using the smaller nesting die. Now we're going to die cut our aperture for the front panel. And when you do it, I really encourage you to use low tack tape. It really makes a difference. And then you will make sure it won't move when you put it through a die cutting machine. Super quick, easy, and you can choose any nesting die you've got in your stash. Just make sure it's big enough so you can fit a photo inside. And now you can see all those front panels die cut. So now it is time to decorate them. So here are the frames we created with gold 
uh, stash track foiled paper and I'm going to use liquid glue to adhere them super quick and easy and you will have the time to maneuver all those elements just to make sure everything is nice and straight. Now I've got a piece of acetate and this one is actually 18 centimeters by 27 centimeters. So I'm going to score it at one, then turn it over and 13. So my pocket will be 13 centimeters tall and that will make my pocket really easy to put a photo in side super quick easy and using that acetate you will make sure there's literally no dust inside your photo so i really encourage you to do it now i'm going to use red liner tape to adhere all those sides but remember with that pocket you just have to leave one of the sides open because yes we need that space to put a photo in super super quick and easy and red liner tape works absolutely wonderfully and i'm using my pokey tool to get rid of the backing from the red liner tape and now when our pocket is ready as you can see we can put a photo here really nice and quick and I've got all my three pockets and now we have to adhere it to the front of our photo frame so again I'm going to use some double-sided tape this time because guess what I ran out of red liner tape yes it did happen and here I also encourage you to put that double-sided tape on one of the sides um, the best option is actually the same spot where you put the photo in so then you won't misplace your photo trust me i know exactly what i mean because i did it once on one of the uh, projects here and then i had to add that more double-sided tape underneath so we can see through the acetate and now it is that time to assemble our front and back together for this i'm actually using my liquid glue the one and only magic glue, my favorite, because you've got lots of time to maneuver all those elements. And do you remember we created those score lines? So it is super quick and easy to assemble the whole project together. If you have never ever tried creating your own photo frames, I really encourage you to do it. Super quick, easy and beautiful. Don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. Now using an alphabet cutting die set from my stash, I'm going to die cut it once from white foam and also from gold stash track fold paper. And this way I create the words and the sentiments for my projects. The first one I decided to have dream big because I really like it and then it's so inspiring for everything we do, right? Because if we don't dream, then what will happen? Nothing. But when we dream and we actually aspire to do something, then magic things can happen. Now, using those beautiful scattered leaves from Crafters Companion, I'm going to die cut them from these small pieces of Rhenia fold paper. And What's absolutely amazing about Rhenia fold paper, you can actually put four or five papers together and die cut, and it will die cut beautifully. I also die cut the tree, but I didn't use it in my project. And on the back of every single leaf, I put red liner tape, and literally you just have to adhere and create any composition you want with those leaves. And that's it. Super quick, easy, and so beautiful. If you put that photo frame on your desk, trust me, everyone who visits you will be really amazed. And you can also give it to someone as a really nice birthday gift, if they have their birthday in autumn season. Super quick, easy, and yeah, I love it. Please let me know if you like it. Have you ever created your own photo frames? If you have, what did you use? Did you use nesting dice or maybe a special dice to create photo frames? And now it is that time to put our photos in. So the trickiest part actually is to choose your photos. I know, right? 
Yes, I had a look at my stash of all my photos and I decided to use those three because actually I took them during the autumn season. Now, when you see all of them, which one is your favorite? Do you, do you like the love one, inspire or dream big? Which one is your favorite? Please let me know in the comments down below. I really hope you enjoyed this video and feel inspired to create your own autumn project. You can also check my other videos where I created a wedding rose home decor and floral butterfly home decor. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and see you in the next video. Bye for now.